All right, so before we get started with today's video, I want to talk about my friends from over at Soul Avant Gar. All right, Soul Avant Gar is a place where you can go and really elevate your fragrance experience. All right, so they specialize in niche fragrances, and the world of niche can be a little bit scary, a little bit intimidating. All right, but Soul Avant Gar, they offer sampling. And I highly suggest sampling, sampling, sampling. All right, so they have some of the top brands of Creed's and Parfums de Marley and Nishanae's, just to name a few, but so much more. All right, so use my code DEDRICK20 to save you some money on a sample set, uh, single samples, and of course, full bottles if you're ready to make that link. So, so Avant Garde, DEDRICK20, save you some money, and uh, tell them I sent you, all right? And um, they have great customer service and you'll have a great experience all right so let's get into today's video YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, DJ Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. All right, smell good family. Hopefully everyone out there is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock. Y'all know how we give it up on this channel. All right, so about a year ago, or maybe right out a year, a little over a year, I was getting a lot of questions about what my wife thought about my collection as far as what are her favorites, what are her sexiest, she thinks the sexiest on me, so forth and so on. So I've been getting those requests again. So I thought it would be cool to revamp re that video, all right? So last year we had eight, this year she picked 10. So she had a tough time picking this list, all right? But she was able to pick 10. Now some of these in here, they're going to just be staples for her on me, all right? But she has added some new additions. So without further ado, these are my wife's top 10 most sexiest fragrances on your boy. I mean, look at me. Just look at me, all right? But here we go, all right? So up first, Mrs. Hicks says this is, she compliments this and gets the funny face every time this is mentioned from the house of Chanel. She also loves Blue de Chanel, the parfum. Blue de Chanel, the parfum. All right. So, of course, this is a mutual fragrance for both of us. This is my number one fragrance of all time. Now, I don't know if I've worn it enough where she's loving it. Um, I don't know if it's the profile for her as well. But a lot of women love the Blue de Chanel profile. A lot of women. Every time I wear either the EDT, the EDP, or this one, I do get compliments, all right? So this is definitely one of the ones for Mrs. Hicks, um, and she really enjoys it, all right? Next up, a new entry to the list. Now, this is a recent um, pickup for me. Shout out to my friends over at Soul Avant Garde. They sent this over not too long ago, and me and my wife had a time <laughs> smelling this when it came in, and her words are, I love this, all right? From the house of Tenziana Terenzi, we have Abrivio, Abrivio, all right? It's clashing with my studio light, but it's a beautiful bottle of that goldfish. Um, the bottle is heavy, the goldfish is a gold-plated goldfish, all right? So this one is very tropical, very summery, a realistic strawberry note. There are other notes in here uh, of fruit and musk um, and slight spice to it as well. But very tropical, great for the warmer weather, great for the heat. Um, just a very nice, uh, refreshing, different style of a fragrance. Not too many realistic strawberry notes that are out there. And I'm not quite sure if she loves this for her or she loves it coming off of me. But she says she likes it off me, so that's what we're going to go with. This is one that she has been talking about a lot. From the house of Tiziana Terenzi. We have Abrivio. Uh oh, come on, get into focus now. Abrivio. And if you're interested, what is this? Oh, here, my camera once again, just, we don't care. We don't care. There we go. If you're interested in this, head over to Soul Avant Guard. Check it out. Use my code DEDRICK20. Information's down in the description box. All right. Up next, this is the one, this might be her favorite outside of Blue de Chanel because when I first got it and a few times I wore it, I was told I can't wear this to work. I can't wear it if I'm not with her. So she is really high on this one. From the house of Navitas Parfums, we have Viva More. 
We have Viva More. I guess my camera just don't like Viva More either. All right. This is a combination of Creed Aventus and Baccarat Rouge 540. All right. You get a beautiful, sweet, juicy pineapple, uh, that Aventus feel up top, and then that Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe just comes right on in, blends it up, and makes a very, very sexy fragrance. All right. So I keep that in mind. Um, a lot of times I be meaning to wear this with me and her going out, but I end up going with something else. But because I know how much she really likes this one and it gives her that ooh type of feel when I wear it. Even when she smells it, it's like she pauses completely to enjoy what she's smelling. So I already knew this was going to be in the list, like a few others, like the Chanel and a couple more than here. But she really loves this. Got a good feeling for it. From the House of Novitis Parfums, we have Viva More. Viva More. All right. Up next, this is another one that was in the list last year, and she stands by this. And matter of fact, I mean, ever since I got the fragrance, she has been locked into it when I wear it from the house of Georgia Omani. We have Aqua Dijo Absolute. Aqua Dijo Absolute. She really rocks with this, y'all. She really vibes with this, man. She's never really told me what about it that she loves but when she sees it and she smells it she lets it be known one of those mm -mm -mm type of noises or those that pause in motion when you are really into something that you enjoy so this is one for sure this is another one that's going to be i think on her list forever maybe when you talk top 10 what she likes on me but um this is it for sure so some of these were quick quick ones she just picked them out put them on the table and then, you know, she went through the process of the others. But this one, for sure, I think it's going to be a staple for her on me. From the house of Giorgio Armani, we have Aqua Dijo. Absolute. Absolute. Great fragrance. I enjoy and love it as well. All right, up next, this is one that I remember I got this on Valentine's weekend about two, three years ago. And um, I've worn it a lot. She really enjoyed it. It's a classic um and it's just one of those ones that just works for whatever from the house of coach we have coach for men coach for men big dent in that bottle more than halfway done i will be getting another bottle once this is finished if you know anything about a classic male dna coach for men is exactly that all right that come quiet that pear that fruity kind of fizzy effect with this here easy going can be worn anytime anywhere i wore this on the valentine's uh, evening during uh, the weekend and she she just really enjoyed it and she mentioned this one by name when it was time to uh, pull out this top 10 for sure so Coach for Men is definitely one of Mrs. Higgs staples in my collection and she let it be known how much she enjoys it off of me from the house of Coach we have Coach for Men Coach for Men all right moving along to probably the most seductive fragrance that I know can cast a spell on her, whether I'm talking about it or I'm wearing it. And I gotta wear this more around her because I like what it does to her. From the house of Paco Rabanne, we have One Million Lucky. One Million Lucky. If you don't have it, you better get it. The official announcement I believe was made a few days ago or a week ago that this one is being discontinued. It's still available, it's still in stores. I think it's on discounters as well but eventually it will be gone. Get you a bottle. This is sexiness in a bottle, seductive. Um, the honey, the hazelnut, the plum, um, Just she just loves it. She just loves it. Um, during the live stream, one of her comments, she let it be known when we were talking about this, she gave the drooling emoji. <laughs> the drooling emoji talking about Park Ramon's Woman, You're Lucky. And I, I second that. I believe it's a very sexy fragrance. And if a fella is put together real well, taking care of himself and, and, and making his presence known, there's a pretty good chance a woman out there is going to tip the cap to you and let you know, <laughs> yeah, keep wearing that. All right. Another one, another favorite from Mrs. Hicks from the house of Parker Bond. We have one million lucky. Get your hands on it, guys. Get your hands on it. It is going away. All right. Four more left to discuss. Up next from the house of Garland, we have Lone Arial EDP. EDP. The very first time I wore this, we were going to celebrate my son's seventh birthday, I believe it was. It was very cool out. Overcast. I'll never forget it. We were stepping out and I sprayed this on and upon walking out of our bathroom, she was like, oh, that smells real good. 
the first time I wore it. She said it again. I had a photography gig. I do photography. And I was going out Saturday morning. I was leaving at the house. Who you smelling so good for? Y'all know. Fellas, I know y'all get that. When you're wearing something real good, your girl be like, what's mm -hmm, and all that. I got all that because of this. So this is one of her favorites. Cherry, leather, very sexy, very creamy, very uh, a beautiful body of a fragrance. This stuff is good. One of Mrs. Six favorites for sure. From the House of Girl On. We have Alone Madi Al, the EDP. I gotta do a better job, man. Cause some of these I just ain't been wearing like that when me and her go out. I be wearing other stuff. But y'all know how it is, man. All right. Up next, um, this is a new entry, I believe. This is a new entry from the house of Eve St. Laurent. We have YCLY Le Parfum. Now, this is my favorite from the line, but this is the one that she chose. Now, she made it clear that she loves the YDNA. All right. But this is the one that she selected to be a part of her top 10 video for me of 2023. All right. So very smooth version of the DNA. Like I said already, my favorite for sure. And this is another one when she got the uh, this bottle to her nose. It was one of those. One of those. All right. So this is one that's mass appealing. A lot of people love it. A lot of people like it. A lot of people have it. All right. Or some variation of the DNA. But this is one that just absolutely works. And it is a favorite on my wife's list for me from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. We have YSLY, Lay Parfum. Lay Parfum. All right. Two more to discuss. And this one, she let it be known the very first time I wore it as well. From the house of Rojas. We have Moustache. This is another uh, fragrance that was on her first list last year. All right. So why sell tuxedo clone, but the rose really shines in here. Uh, the benzoin is in here beautifully, and it definitely gives off a great, great, great um, feeling like that why sell why tuxedo gives. All right. This stuff is a beautiful, rich fragrance. And I think, and I don't know, I haven't asked her, but I will ask her. Probably one of the reasons why she does love this so much, because my wife is a fan of florals. So florals is one of her things, but she loves sweetness as well. So this does a good job with that benzoin and that rose. I just think it's the perfect combo, and it just kind of awakened her nostrils um, or opened up her nostrils when she, um, when she smells this one. And uh, she let it be known the first couple of times I wore it. That, that smells good. It has great CI. She said, I walked out of a room and I left. She walked into the room and there it was. All right. So this is one of her favorites for sure. From the house of Rojas, we have Moustache, the EDP. The EDP. There's the camera. Camera will doing so well. All right. And last but not least, we're going to go the Middle Eastern route. Now, I don't know again if she loves this for her. This is a new entry. I don't know if she loves this for her. Or she loves it for me, all right? But she's just a fan of this stuff. From the house of La Taffa, we have Royal Blends. Royal Blends. This is pretty much a bowl of fruit covered in like honey and caramel. Just very sweet and fruity fragrance. It gets a little musky, slightly powdery on the dry down. It just smells really, really good. Uh, that that you know, like I said, a bowl of fruit, red berries and apples, douse some uh, honey or or, or 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 caramel or something sweet on top of it. Add some musk to it, and here you go. All right, very unisex style of a fragrance. That's why I was saying I don't know if she loves it for me or she loves it for her, but she put it on the list, so I'm guessing she loves it off of me. All right, so this is the one that she's been talking about since I've gotten it. I haven't worn it quite some time, so I'm going to see if it still has that effect on her as when I first uh, was wearing it. All right. So again, from the house of Latafa, Mrs. Hicks loves Royal Blends. Royal Blends. Okay. All right, Smell Good Family. So you, some of you have been asking, a lot of ladies. Ladies, hopefully you are able to catch this video. And fellas, maybe you can, you know, I don't know, you see something that from a woman's perspective, maybe you want to add to your collection to see if you can give it a go. Then why not? All right. So there it is. Mrs. Hicks top 10 most sexiest fragrances that your boy wears. All right. So these are the ones she's the biggest fans of. All right. So fellas, let me know down below if your wife or your girlfriend or your crush or your love interest or whoever that special someone is to you. 
let me know what they love on you. Not your preference, but theirs. All right, I would love to read those comments. Me and Mrs. Hicks would love to read those comments. Consuela, y'all know her ass, as some of y'all see here on the live stream. So let me know down below in the comments, all right? So until next time, until next year, I'll ask her to do this every year to see how much it changes. But until next time, be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Y'all know what it is, man. Positive energy and positive vibes. Splash it up, splash it down. Splag of that thing all around, all right? And uh, remember, what you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back, all right? On the road to 9,000, that's wild. Splacker!